Hello everybody, I hope you're all okay and that your January so far has been as good as it can be, let's say. Um, hello, if this is the first time you've watched one of my videos, my name is Jean and it is mostly unboxing videos of the subscription boxes um, that I open on this channel with the odd little bit of other stuff thrown in. Um, depending on what it is um, and yes that's what I've actually got today as well um, I've got the December 2022 scroller box um, now these did get snarled up in the postal strikes that um, that were happening towards the end of last year and it only arrived very recently. Um, they usually arrive towards the end of the month, but this one, I think it was last week it came, uh, beginning of last week, middle of last week. Um, I've just not had a chance to open it yet. Um, I'm not showing what I did with the contents of the November scroller box because I think what I've done is absolute rubbish, to be honest. And... It, I just don't want to show it to to the camera to potentially thousands of people. Um, it's a, an example of my really rubbish art, and nobody needs to see that. Anyway, let's uh, get on with this, shall we? Let's pop that out of the way, and make a little bit more room. Um, let's see. Let's get this this fella opened now i haven't seen any other uh videos for people opening the december 22 um scroller box i've not looked on the youtube uh, on the facebook channel um i've got no idea what is in this box so when you see it for the first time it'll be the first time i'm seeing it too so let's have a look shall we okay so on opening this is what I see first off, and to be honest, it looks with, with the um, with the really bold colours there. It looks similar to uh, one that we might have had in the past. Let's have a look what we've got. One of the good things about scroll boxes they always include a, a sweetie in um, with each box of supplies which is always nice okay so the december 22 scroller challenge was chaos confined so that i think that's going to be an interesting to try and not quite sure what i'll do there okay so starting with the magazine and we've got a little picture of all the contents there um Let's start with the featured artist and what this person does and who they are. Okay, so last month's featured artist is a guy called Mr. Phil. And this is the December 22 um, featured artwork. Um, it says, I create lively and fun-filled images for, for a variety of purposes, including branding, murals, clothing, pattern design, album covers, live events, painted sculptures, vinyl installations, to name a few. If you can think of an application, I can make some art for it. All my work starts as a drawing and then, depending on the commission, it's either painted or photographed, vectorised and coloured digitally. I've worked for a variety of clients, including Fender, Unity, Tumblr, Siroc, Vodka, Blue Moon, The Scouts, Vitamin Water, The National Gallery, Kipling, Lost Pier Brewing. Um, and Mr. Phil does have an Instagram page and a Twitter. So what I will do is I'll put those in the information block down below. And if any of you fancy having a look, you'll be able to have a look. OK. So might as well go on with the supplies haven't we okay so the first one um is this one 
and it is a it's the scroll box a five pad 250 grams white card 10 sheets and it looks like it's actually made by scroll box rather than one of the um art pad suppliers that they collaborate with um and it says this white extra smooth acid free drawing card has a resilient surface surface design to endure all forms of markers paint pens and ink mediums alike the surface is particularly well suited for the edding markers which kind of gives you um, a bit of a clue as to one of the other supplies in this box um as it is bleed resistant making it making for a more comfortable drawing experience that's quite nice Right, and this is what the card itself looks like and it is lovely and smooth so it shouldn't go all pocky and bobbly um, with being used with the markers in this box right so next up Is, is it just the three? Four markers. Right. So, Edding 5100 acrylic markers. Uh, black 901, Traffic Yellow 905, Telemagenta 909 and Opulent Turquoise 934. And they're all here. Uh, these Edding acrylic markers are the medium nib size and come with a semi-opaque quick drying water-based ink. They are light fast, weather resistant, wear resistant and heat resistant with low odour and have the ability to draw on a variety of surfaces including the usual suspects, canvas wood and carton paper. Because they have water-based ink you can mix the colours and also easily blend. The robust medium round nib provides a stroke width of two to three millimetres which still allows for precise strokes and is big enough to colour in larger areas. Easy to activate and use, the pens feature a valve system which allows even ink flow for great coverage. These pens offer uncomplicated spontaneous creativity, best stored horizontally. So these are not going to be going into one of my art supply jars. I'm going to have to find a way to store them horizontally when um, I next make some sort of storage thing for uh, scroll box supplies so there you go you can see what those colors are like there and in fact let's have a quick go at um, seeing what they're like on this this uh, drawing card so I'll start with 909 at Telemagenta and they do have and you can find the end of it a tear paper which is quite good because that is going to hold hold on that paper and make sure the cap stays on until you actually need to use it so let me just Pop that lid back on there, give it a bit of a shake. And so just to get the pens primed, they need a little bit of um, pumping to make the ink flow. And it's just starting to come down there. Now these markers are not something that I've used before so my first experience with them with this box is going to be my first experience ever with them. Okay so ah right so you can actually get quite a fine line if you use it on its side. Uh, that one if you do it like that Okay, and that one, if you do it like that. So yeah, that's, uh, I like that colour. Let's have a go with the next one. Right, 
I like that they've got these papers on, but they are a little bit fiddly. And this one is opulent turquoise. So we're uh, just repeating the stabity stab bits. It's starting to come down the pen now. To traffic yellow now. I've just put the pad down um, on my desk and do the stabity stab like this rather than having it up here. Okay, so we've got that ink coming through now and that's what the yellow's like. And do you know, I actually really like these pens, these particular colours. Um, with the exception of this one, which is the 901 black. Um, these three colours that I've tried so far, lovely and bright, really bright. Same with this one, this black pen. Sorry, it is a little bit loud. It's because I've got the pad on the um, cardboard box that the supplies came in. Okay, so Uh, not saying that <laughs> that it's going to be any sort of submission um, to the Chaos Confined um, challenge, but, you know, with a little bit of work, it might be. Not quite sure what's going to become of it and what path it will take from these initial trials of the pens. Um, but, yeah... I suppose my problem is when I'm making things like this I don't tend to do them unless I've got some sort of picture in my mind's eye but then that picture doesn't always turn out to what comes on the paper so I'll see what come what becomes of this okay next up we have got might as well just shake these out of the tissue paper because it's a little bit broken they were falling out into the box through that hole there's a uni pin black chisel fine liner 2.0 and this is that fella a modern classic the uni pin is a go-to for any creative project and that is uni pin rather than uni pen it's it's a definite pin and not a pen although Confusingly, it is a pen. Ah, okay, any creative project, including calligraphy, sketching and technical drawings, this pen features super ink, which provides high quality waterproof and fade proof pigment, making it the perfect companion for all kinds of media, as the ink won't smudge. Its chisel shaped nib offers a broad and narrow edge for versatility in your mark making plus it has a metal surround that protects it making it great for use with stencils so that's going to be interesting let's have a look i think i've got a few of these unipin pens um in my let's see where is it 
in my um, black pens that came from scroller box jar. <laughs> Let's have a look with this fella. So, if I do this, you'll be able to just see that it's um, a chisel shaped, chi shaped nib. And so, let's see if I can get this right. We can do marks like that, that are fairly broad, and marks like that. That are very much narrower so I suppose with this challenge if I if I draw what could be I don't know class maybe of solid shapes and use the brighter colors to fill them in um, there shouldn't be any overbleeding bleeding uh, because of um, this pen uh, so yes interesting Let me just pop the cat back on that and next up, we've got a Stadler Norris pencil in HB. And it's your classic yellow and black with um, a white and red painted top end Stadler Norris pencil. This high quality and versatile pencil is ideal for writing, drawing and sketching, featuring a two millimeter di diameter super bonded lead, which is break resistant. Each Stadler Norris pencil is made with wood from, from certified sustainably managed forests. I forgot to tell you the recommended retail prices, didn't I? Okay, so for the Edding markers, um, they are recommended retail price of three ninety nine a piece. Uh, so times that by four. Uh, for the Unipin pen, uh, recommended retail price is two pound fifty nine. For the pencil. It is 80 pence and for the um, the A5 pad that one is £2.99 uh, so yeah let's have a look I mean I know I know roughly what an HB pencil looks like on paper but let's uh, let's just do it for the camera so it's a it's a fairly hard one and HB stands for hard black so you probably have to press a little bit to get any depth of tone with that. Right, let's have a look. And lastly, the December sweet treat is a little roll of mini mento mentos. Uh, Mentos Minis Fruit Flavoured Chewy Sweets The Best of Mentos in Miniature Form And no, they are not going to be going into any bottles of Coke I think that might only work with the mints anyway uh, Okay, so That is the entire contents of this um, Scroll box for December 22 uh, The four Edding Markers The Stedler Norris Pencil The Uni Pin uh, pen and the little roll of Mentos and last but not least this pad so um, I might have a little bit of a, a journey and actually have a go at uh, the December challenge um, I'll see I'll see how much time I've um, I've got available between life and work um, yeah just be patient with me it might be it might end up being up to the standard of the ones that i was that i was trying to do with the november supplies it might be total rubbish it might be okay i'll see um when i get the time to do that so that is the entirety of um this scroller box so that's the end of this video folks i hope you've enjoyed watching if you have you know do please leave me a like uh have a, a little on that thumbs up I do appreciate it and if you want to see more of my videos because hopefully there will be a few more this this year I'll just see how things go if you want to see more of my videos and some of my past ones um, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel uh, click on the subscribe button and then 
click on the bell and choose the one at the top which should be for for all the videos um, and they will come up in uh, your feed and you'll be able to uh, see them without having to look for them specifically on my page so again thank you for watching i really do appreciate when people watch my videos and yes if you want to leave me a comment please do i'll do my best to get back to you in a timely fashion so without any further ado that's it for this video thank you again for watching folks love you all um keep an eye out for my next video take care of yourselves and do look after each other as well our weather today uh, it looks like it's trying to do a bit of um all types of weather in one day we've had it tipping it down with rain and now it's kind of sunny but it's very cold outside so uh, yeah take your brolly for when it's raining but not windy don't forget your gloves and your hat and your scarf keep an eye on that weather forecast okay folks see you later thank you bye bye